I have a report in my Access database that summarizes sales figures for several different regions by fiscal year and quarter. When I look at the report, it's not that easy to pick out values that might need more attention. For example, the Northeast region hasn't been doing so well lately, but it's hard to see a trend or determine how that region compares to others. So I'm going to apply some conditional formatting to this report. I want any numbers below 300,000 to appear in red text, and I want any numbers over 800,000 to appear in green text. I'll switch to Layout View by right-clicking the Document tab and then clicking Layout View. Now I need to select all of the columns that I want to apply this conditional formatting to. I'll do this by clicking a cell in the first column, holding down the Shift key, and then clicking a cell in the last column that I want to select. It doesn't matter on which row I do this, because each row on this report contains the same four controls. They're just repeated for each row of data. Now with those selected, I click the Format tab, and then in the Control Formatting group, I click Conditional Formatting. Access opens the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager. Here I can add, edit, or delete conditional formatting rules for individual controls or for multiple controls as shown here. I'll click New Rule and then select a rule type. First I'll show you how to check values in the current record. I'll try the other option out later. My first rule is I want to have numbers below 300,000 appear in red text. I'm basing this rule on the actual value in the field, so I'll choose Field Value Is in the first list. In the second list, I'll select Less Than, but there is a full list of comparison options to choose from. And my comparison value is 300,000. You can also type an expression that calculates a value, or click the Build button to open the Expression Builder. If the field value is less than 300,000, I want the number to appear in red text. So in the font color list, I'll click red. In the preview area, I can see how the text will look when this rule is applied. I can also use non-color related formatting, such as bold, italic, and underline. So with that rule complete, let's see how it looks on the report. I'll click OK twice and then switch to Report View. And now the numbers below 300,000 are much easier to pick out. Looks like the Northeast region was keeping pace with the other regions until fiscal year 2009. Now I'll add my second rule, which is I want to have numbers above 800,000 to appear in green text. I'll switch back to Layout View, and I select the four controls again, and then on the Format tab, click Conditional Formatting again. In the Rules Manager, I'll click New Rule and set this one up so that if the field value is greater than 800,000, then display the text in green color. And the preview looks good, so I'll go ahead and click OK. Access adds the rule to the list. I can add up to 50 conditional formatting rules for each control or a group of controls. Once a format has been applied to a value, none of the conditions below that one are evaluated. If I want to move a rule up or down in the list, I select it and then use the up and down arrows to move it. I'll click OK and switch to Report View. Now it's easy to see that the West region has been doing really well in the last two years. Southeast hasn't been doing too badly either. But the Northeast region definitely needs some more attention. Now let's move to another report and see how to compare across records by using data bars. On this report, it's really hard to see the trend of sales in the Northeast region. I'll add some data bars to improve the readability of this report. Note that this feature is not compatible with the web publishing feature, but I'm working in a standard client database, so I can use it on this report. I'll switch to Layout View and then select one of the cells in the column of numbers. I click Format and Conditional Formatting and New Rule. Now I want to change the rule type to compare to other records. I'll just accept the default values except that I want a red bar color. And I'll click OK twice and switch to Report View. And now it's easier to follow the trend of the Northeast region's sales.